What's up guys, Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. In today's test drive, what about a 1962 Chevy Impala? This is a true SS car, 350 crate motor power, steering power brakes, all chromed out too. Got the overdrive transmission. Looks like they upgraded the battery, put an Optima in here. I love the air cleaner. She's breathing good. Looks like insulation still up under the hood. And the paint, that's my favorite color. Disc brakes in the front, aftermarket wheels, drum in the rear. All the chrome accessories. Look at the detailed pictures. Finance options get pre-approved at maplemotors.com. And of course we have shipping. We can ship this to your door. Shut the hood down. I'm going to be picking out the flaws throughout the video. And at the end, we'll be getting into detail on the paint and interior. So hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off a look around in here check everything out aftermarket steering wheel they got the old green carpet the cloth seats let's pull a bag out of there so you can actually see i love the pattern that's in here they got it on the package straight too you're missing a button up there headliner she looks good she's not wrinkly and a nice steering wheel here the dash, also in good shape. Let's try some stuff out. She starts up good, sounds good. Oil pressure's up. Water temperature gauge is broke. Volts is not hooked up. Wipers. Wipers do not work on this one, so hopefully it doesn't rain. Blower motor. blower motor is not hooked up turn signals left side and right side are working that brake light is flashing on me I think it is in the floor here because it's not gonna come all the way up you see because this plate is in the way I do like the kick panels I don't know if they have speakers let's go let's go there we go try to turn this on See if we got some sound. We do. Good deal. Cut her all the way down there so we're not listening to static. All right, guys. Horn, did you place your bets? Nothing I can do to make that horn work. All right, let's take off. Okay, here we go. We're all going to lunch. So I'm taking my buddy Chris. We got Ooh. Kevin in the back holding the camera. <laughs> Keep it steady. I trust you. All right. <laughs> Here we go guys, this is the first time that I've driven this, just like every video that I do, I get to know the car with you like I'm going out to buy it, so. Let's roll. We're gonna stop and get some fuel. It's showing half a tank. The brakes are a little stiff on this one. Ooh, she's got a little bit of carburetor issues there. Probably some ethanol buildup. We'll try to run her out. If I let go of the steering wheel, this thing tries to pull me off the road too. It's going to the right. It's like they broke a water main or something like that. When I floor it. Other than that, ethanol kind of gurgling up in the carburetor there. It shifts down and it pulls pretty good. Getting into those brakes. I got a stiff pedal, but it's stopping, so we're good there. Gas gauge is floating around half a tank. I may not need to stop and get any fuel. And I don't feel like getting in that lane. That's where we were going, so we're going somewhere else now. <laughs> <laughs> Speedometer is coming up on the dash. And it looks like the odometer is turning over, so. 98,000 miles is what it's showing. Got a little bit of a shake in the steering wheel too. Again, in the brakes, we're stopping. All right. What about Jumbo? No, that takes forever. We ain't going there. We're gonna go straight here. Hey, how long is the cup gonna run? <laughs> Hey, you got a cup on your bumper. You got a cup on your bumper. A big cup. I don't, 
Yeah, hey, there's a cop sitting on your bumper, just just cruising. Yeah, right. Get him all away from me, <laughs> Let him ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, please. <laughs> like your truck. Hey, you like that truck. Thanks. <laughs> we gotta get the cup on video. Look, he said it, he drove it like Billy Billy's Ben. Bend. What's that? Twenty <laughs> miles? It's just easy driving that two door Tahoe. I used to uh, drive quite a few of those in high school. Yeah, I used to ride around one. You did? <laughs> it's still on there. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> what happens when I floor it? because I want to rush gas in there to kind of clear out this ethanol. The best thing to run in these cars is non-ethanol. Same as a boat. And eventually it'll clear up. I mean, if I drove this 10 miles, it should be running good. It's already getting better. All right, guys, what about Saks Deli? Y'all like that? It's pretty good. Only thing I've noticed on this one, it does pull to the right. A little bit of a stutter in the carburetor. After this, we're gonna get some undercarriage shots, outside stuff, and then of course picking out the flaws is at the end. I'll be back. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take off. Just starting to sprinkle, so we're gonna get back to the lot, pull in the showroom, and start to picking out the fall segment of the video. Still got a, a little bit of a hesitation in that carburetor, I can feel it consistently as I'm driving and it's almost like it's flooding itself out which I know it is actually so
take the back road over here. They're coming after us, you hear them? They're gone. Oh, we're gone. We're seeing <laughs> That's funny that that brake light's constantly flashing on there. I'm pretty positive it's this. Catching speaker. Yeah, catching because just coming up and hitting that speaker it needs to come up some more you'd have to almost bend it out of the way I don't think I want to do that oh. <laughs> I think I just get rid of this speaker panel first it's not holding on the brake or anything it's probably just hitting the switch oh is that like an aftermarket speaker panel yes yeah definitely yeah, it doesn't look like nothing like the speaker back there no. no it sounds like there's something in there though and you can see the speaker wire going up to it from the fins there Rumbling. Them seats are pretty comfy. Yeah, they're squishy. Yeah. It's like a couch. You know, I'm starting to think maybe the air adjustment is out a little bit on that carburetor too and it may be getting a little bit too much gas. I can't really tell. A lot of times it is ethanol. Just the way it sounds and feels. We'll let the old slow bus up there get on down the road. student driver we caught them pretty quick <laughs> and I can't slow down no more because somebody else caught us <laughs> The ride's nice and smooth. Definitely got style. Needs a few things worked out. I hope you enjoyed this ride, guys. There is a slight little bump in the road here. You can kind of give her a listen. If there's any kind of shakes, rattles, you'll hear it right here. And I'll point it out to you. It's right here. That was nothing. Some of the low riders that we get in, my head hits the ceiling just from that bump so this one took it like a boat everybody's on their bicycle today too you know he's got two bikes i think he just stole somebody's bike <laughs> we made it back guys i do appreciate you watching be sure to hit subscribe and stick around picking out the flaws is up next All right, here we go. Picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Let's get started. It's coming up on the front end here. Nice and clean, chrome's fairly new looking. Little chips. The grill looks good. Scuff there in the corner. Coming down this side. Not bad at all. Pretty good, really. A little chip there. Couple little specks here. Little 
ship in the back there. Some little scuffs up top. Locking gas cap. Chips on the edge. You got cracks in the chrome on your door handle. Chrome looks good on your mirror. Looking back over the back here, you got some pitting. Your back window is in good shape. The trim looks good. Up over on the roof here. And this paint's nice and slick. The trim looks good around the windows. The seal looks good around your vent window. Got a little spot here. And up around the front. It's not too bad. In the trunk, it looks like, what is that, 12s, 212s. Get some MTX audio sub box. It's like some mats. Got some moisture under here. It rained all night. When I got back to the lot, <clears throat> when I made the first part of this video, it was fine, but as soon as I got back to the lot, it started sprinkling and it didn't stop raining until this morning. So yeah, it does leak a little bit. Trunk lid itself. Too bad. Put on down with this. It shuts decent. Back bumper looks like it's been replaced. Nice and clean. A little high here on the edge got touch up marks keep it down this side A little chip here in the corner if I can get it without getting a shadow in there Little chip here. And you got some bubbles in the corner of the door there. Back to midsection. A little scuff. Your door handles. A lot of pitting on there. Couple dings on the back of the trim. Back up over the top here. Little chip there. Couple little chips there. 
Nice chrome. Seal around the vent window looks good. Trim looks good. Back window, trim looks good, and the back window itself is clean. Touch, they got a touch up mark there. Let's get on the other side of it so you can see it better. Again, sorry about the shadow. Bright and sunny today. I love the cloudy days, it's better for videoing. Easier to get around without a shadow falling. Okay, we've made it all the way around. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and we'll listen to the motor. Door opens well. Door panel is in great shape. Seal there. A little crusty. seat looks great back seat in good shape package tray and headliner are all pretty cool looking I like it Quiet, runs good. Insulations there, a little ripped up here in the corner. Little cracks in the paint up under the hood there. Put on down with it. Got a little bit of fitting on that front emblem. Got a couple waves up here in the front on the nose. Sitting a little high on the hood there. The hinges could be adjusted. Same with this side. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Of course, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. I got plenty more to do today. Uh, we're getting in you know, 10 to 15 cars a week. We go through 50 to 60 cars a month here, so that's why you always see new inventory. You can go to maplemotors.com and every Monday you'll see those cars pop online around 11 o'clock. You can get pre-approved through our finance company. And a quote, shipping it straight to your door. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.